Meteorologist Danielle Miller loves science and experiments, and today she's making elephant toothpaste. Check it out. In this week's experiment, we are going to make elephant toothpaste. It's a chemical reaction between hydrogen peroxide, dish soap, yeast, and water. Here's what you want to do. First, you're going to want to combine one tablespoon of yeast with about two tablespoons of warm water and mix it until the yeast dissolves in the water. When it's all dissolved, it should look like this. Next, you want to pour half a cup of hydrogen peroxide into your plastic bottle. You can also add in a couple drops of food coloring and you want to add in a couple drops of dish soap as well. Finally, to make our reaction and make our elephant toothpaste, you want to take a funnel and we're going to put in our water and yeast mixture. You can do this reaction a couple of times, and if you do it again, I want you to notice how the foam, the elephant toothpaste, feels. It feels warm to the touch, and there's a reason behind that. This reaction is called an exothermic chemical reaction, meaning that heat is expelled during the reaction, which is why it feels warm to the touch, and by the way, this is completely safe to play with. There are other chemical reactions that are exothermic every day that you notice as well, such as when you light a candle or light a match. Another one in weather is when water vapor transfers to water droplets from a gas to a liquid water releases heat, just like this experiment. If you do this experiment, of course, I want you to let me know. Send me some pictures of your elephant toothpaste. For now in Columbia for News 19, I'm Danielle Miller.